Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video is a cube paper craft of my Fasona Alfie. So these cube crafts, they are just little paper cubes that you make, you print out, you stick them together, you get a cube. They're kind of cute. I used to make Pokemon ones all the time, like every week I was making one pretty much. So yeah, I do enjoy making these. I haven't made one in years. <laughs> Also, I should mention I filmed the second half of this video before I did the voiceover for this half, so I might repeat some things later on, but you know, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I drew this in GIMP. I used to make them in MS Paint, which is it's fine, it's just it's a high quality if I make them in GIMP, so yeah. <laughs> Everything was done with a 3 pixel wide paintbrush on a 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas. So, you know, it's a, an average size canvas for me, but a really tiny brush size compared to what I usually use. Uh, you can see there's dotted lines and those are where you fold, so well, you'll see that in the video. Also, this design is very symmetrical. Most of them are, it just saves a lot of time so you can just copy, paste, flip. <laughs> and that's about it really. I colour it in, there's no shading really except a little bit on the nose and the tongue but that's it. Anyway, I'm running out of time so I will see you in the next half of the video which is about now. notice anything different. <laughs> we have a new camera! So I thought I would do this in real, not real time, more like a edited video kind of thing. I'm going to cut it all out because I don't have a proper tripod yet. The camera is like very close to the table as you can probably tell. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then I'll see you in a second to stick it all together. Okay, so we have cut her all out, it took forever, and <laughs> these little ears take ages to cut out. I ended up using a craft knife, so yeah, we can finally stick her together, and I hope, I really hope this print stick is sticky, because if it's not, I'm going to yell. <laughs> so I used to make these paper crafts a lot back on DeviantArt, I used to make these uh, Pokemon ones. They were quite popular. People used to be like, hey, can you make a Trico or a the Charmander or just name any Pokemon and I'm sure someone's asked it at some point. Um, but yeah, I stopped doing them recently because it was just taking a bit of time. I mean, I do enjoy making them, but since I've finished college now, uh, this is kind of what I do full time for now until I start my job um, so I've decided to open commissions for them so if you want a Pokemon paper craft then feel free to message me and I will give you a quote because it will vary depending on which Pokemon it is um, so yeah Ooh, this is fiddly <laughs> and there we have one ear I might be out of focus there we go I think my focus point's a bit strange. Oh, whatever. I'm still getting used to this camera, it is really good. I've never filmed in such high quality before, it's amazing. <laughs> Would help if I was in focus, wouldn't it? Why would I readjust my focus point? There we go. This camera has a touch screen and it makes things so much easier. I can just tap and I can focus where I want, it's incredible. <laughs> okay. Second ear. I always make a, a back piece so we don't see all this white paper underneath. I think it just makes it look a little bit better. I promise you there's a tripod in the post. Well actually, they haven't shipped it out yet. I ordered a tripod yesterday. It's a, a gorilla pod. I'm not sure if it's a real one or not. It's second hand, so we will see. <laughs> I have these little hair tufts. I think next time I do this, I'll make the outlines a little bit thicker so that when I'm cutting things out, 
I can just not have little white bits around it. Oh dear, how oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Long nails help with things like this. Oh, I'm out of frame. I need to go out of frame for this one. It's too tiny. Too tiny. Sorry, I keep going out of frame because I'm not used to this setup. This is not my permanent setup. I've said that a lot now, but it just is not a good setup. <laughs> I'm just using the tripod I used to use for my phone. So that's why it's a little bit close. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Uh. Yeah, okay, that's that's as good as it's gonna get. It's a, it's a little bit not brilliant. Come on, camera, do you want to focus on that? Yeah, there we go. It's got a touch screen, so I just tap where I want to focus. It's so good. Okay, so that's uh, not entirely brilliant, but ooh, just fling it across the table. <laughs> okay, now for the main event, this bit, which is the main body. So we're gonna fold all of these little bits here, the side. They have little dotted lines on them, I'm not sure if you can really see it on camera. There we go, got little dotted lines there so I can see where to fold. I'm thinking that after my tripod has arrived, I can do a video showing a plushie making process. I know it's not like a drawing video, I'm going to do drawing videos, don't worry, but I do want to do some craft related videos a bit like this, since I haven't really done anything like this before. Well, I mean, I've done things like this before, but not on my YouTube channel. At least I don't remember doing stuff like this on YouTube. I hope this paper isn't being too crinkly into the microphone. I'm just using the camera microphone to get a feel for it, see how it sounds. I'm trying to keep my hand out the way of the frame. But yeah, the camera microphone, it doesn't seem too bad from what I've seen on other people's videos. I have yet to see the quality of it in person. So I hope it's decent. Paper crafts are the most fiddly thing in the world. I don't know how I managed to do them when I was on DeviantArt all those years ago. By all those years ago, I mean about five years ago. <laughs> and maybe it was about four years ago that I was making these. All right, so we glue the edges and we stick them in like that. I'm not sure how this is really gonna turn out because it's my first time making any kind of uh, non-Pokemon cube. One of my personal favourites was a Litwick cube I made. It was really cute and just the simple design really worked. God I hope this video is not just all blurry. Also the lighting is not brilliant and oh dear We've got a got a mishap. <laughs> oh dear. It has been well over three years since I made one of these last, I think. Because you can generally make them without testing them and then post them. I used to just make them, not test them and post them sometimes, so. I, I used to be like really uh, thorough in my testing of these patterns, but nowadays I was, I just kind of got to the point where I was like, well, I know how it's going to look, it's going to be a cube, you know? Because I'd made so many of them. <laughs> so there's not really much that can go wrong with a little cube pattern. Okay, so here's our box. The lighting is really bad in here. Just, mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's time to stick all these these little bits to this. Focus. Place it. It's somewhat in the centre of the face. Mm. No, face, forehead. Yeah, there we go. 
it, it's somewhat centered. I've decided to get rid of this little tab. So I'll take my scissors and I'm gonna do this, try and do this in frame. Very blurrily in frame. There we go. And just snip. Same for this one. Ear number one. That's this side. Yes. The ears would be longer if this was not a cube craft, <laughs> but since it is a tiny, tiny little cube, I mean, obviously I could print it out bigger, but still, the proportions, proportionally, these ears have to be just a little bit shorter than they would be. did not go well when I was sticking it together, <laughs> as we all saw. And there we have it. Oh, cute craft. <laughs> well, let's go do some photo shoot. So I hope you enjoyed this video, it was a little bit longer than usual, so I hope you liked that. And I tried my best with editing to make it more entertaining, so I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, links to all my social medias are down below, and bye!